Switchyards are a critical component of electrical substations, serving as the interface between high-voltage transmission lines and the systems that distribute power to consumers. These areas house various electrical components such as transformers, circuit breakers, isolators, and bus bars, all operating under high voltage. The choice of ground surface material in these high voltage environments plays a vital role in ensuring operational safety and equipment integrity. Among various options like sand, soil, or grass, the use of crushed stone commonly referred to as gravel is overwhelmingly preferred. This preference stems from its unique properties that enhance safety, reliability, and durability in the harsh electrical environment of a switchyard. A switchyard. The following pages elaborate on the rationale behind the widespread adoption of stones in switchyards and the multifaceted benefits they provide over alternatives such as sand or grass. Crushed gravel stones play a crucial role in substation design, serving multiple practical and safety functions. First, gravel acts as an insulating layer, reducing the risk of electrical shock by limiting the step and touch potential. This is particularly important in substations where high voltage equipment is present. The stones prevent direct contact between personnel and the ground, minimizing the likelihood of hazardous electrical conduction. Another key advantage of gravel is its drainage capability. Substations require effective water management to prevent the accumulation of moisture around electrical components. Gravel facilitates rapid drainage, ensuring a dry environment and reducing the risk of short circuits or equipment malfunctions caused by excess water. Additionally, it helps control vegetation growth by blocking sunlight and making it difficult for weeds to thrive, preventing potential interference with electrical infrastructure. Gravel also plays a role in improving fire safety. In the event of oil leaks from transformers or other electrical equipment, the stones prevent oil from spreading easily, reducing the likelihood of fire propagation. Moreover, gravel helps maintain stability in the ground, preventing erosion and ensuring a firm foundation for substation structures. Furthermore, it enhances operational efficiency by reducing dust and mud formation. Excessive dust can affect sensitive components, while mud can create hazardous working conditions for personnel. Gravel keeps the ground clean and manageable, contributing to overall site maintenance. Crushed gravel stones are an essential component of substation infrastructure, contributing, contributing to electrical safety, drainage, fire prevention, vegetation control, erosion resistance, and operational efficiency. These combined benefits make gravel a preferred choice for substation flooring in electrical power systems. One of the foremost reasons for using stones in switchyards is their ability to provide strong mechanical support. Electrical substation components are heavy and often require a firm base to maintain alignment and structural stability. Stones, particularly crushed granite or basalt, create a compact, non-slippery surface that resists movement even under the weight and vibration of high-capacity transformers and circuit breakers. In contrast, sand can easily shift under pressure leading to instability and potential tilting of equipment. Similarly, grass or soil can erode, become muddy during rains, and encourage the growth of roots that disrupt foundations. Stones, due to their non-compressible and angular nature, lock into place, creating a robust platform suitable for long-term substation operations. Two of the most critical safety hazards in a switchyard environment are step potential and touch potential. Step potential refers to the voltage difference a person might experience between two points on the ground during a fault, while touch potential arises when a person touches a grounded object while standing on a different potential surface. During fault conditions, a high current can pass through the ground, creating dangerous voltage gradients. If operators are in contact with these gradients, it can lead to fatal electric shocks. Stones, being high resistivity materials, inhibit the surface conduction of electrical current current. By reducing surface conductivity, they limit the potential gradient experienced at the surface level, thereby significantly lowering the step and touch potentials. This helps protect personnel from life-threatening shocks. Switchyards, especially under fault conditions, generate substantial heat due to high current flow. This heat must be effectively dissipated to avoid damage to equipment and mitigate fire hazards. Stones have excellent thermal dissipation properties, meaning they can absorb and gradually release heat, preventing localized overheating. Unlike grass, which can easily dry out and catch fire, or sand, 
which tends to trap heat and becomes unstable. Stones do not support combustion and help maintain a cooler operating environment. Moreover, their non-flammable nature acts as a passive fire retardant layer, an essential feature in environments prone to arc faults or oil leakage from transformers. Switchyards are usually outdoor installations, exposing them to natural elements and biological interference. Vegetation growth, especially in the form of weeds or grass, can impede operations, block access to equipment, and in some cases, become a fire hazard. Moreover, grassy or muddy areas can attract animals, insects, and reptiles, which pose risks of short circuits or equipment malfunction. Stones offer an inhospitable surface for plant growth and animal entry. The dry, ang angular, and loose configuration of stones discourages burrowing animals and crawling reptiles from entering the switchyard. Additionally, by blocking sunlight and restricting root penetration, stones naturally suppress weed growth without the need for chemical herbicides or regular mowing. Effective grounding is the backbone of electrical safety in substations. A well-designed earthing system ensures that fault currents are safely directed into the earth without endangering personnel or equipment. The resistivity of the top layer of the ground affects how the current spreads in the soil. Stones, when laid over a properly grounded grid, increase the surface resistance, ensuring that the surface potential remains uniform and low. This minimizes touch and step voltages during fault conditions. While the underlying earth provides a path for the current, the layer of stones ensures that this current doesn't rise to dangerous levels at the surface, effectively acting as a protective insulation barrier for humans. Stones contribute significantly to the ease of maintenance and operational efficiency. In switchyards, visibility of the ground is important for inspection and spotting faults such as oil leaks, pooling water, or the presence of foreign objects. Stones, especially light-colored gravel, make it easier to detect changes in the environment. On the other hand, grass can obscure such observations, and sand can blow away or mix with debris. Furthermore, stones reduce dust and mud, which not only helps in keeping the switchyard clean but also protects sensitive components from contamination. Maintenance crews also find it easier to walk and work on gravel surfaces, which offer better traction and less risk of slipping. While the initial cost of procuring and laying down crushed stone might be higher than simply allowing grass to grow or leveling sand, the long-term benefits far outweigh the cost. Stones require minimal upkeep, are resistant to weathering, and do not degrade over time. In contrast, grass needs regular cutting, watering, and pest control, while sand requires constant reshaping and replenishment due to erosion or displacement. Additionally, the safety enhancements provided by stones reduce the likelihood of electrical accidents and equipment failure, which can result in significant financial savings. Their durability and passive safety features make stones the most cost-effective solution over the life cycle of a substation. In the event of a fault such as a lightning strike or equipment failure, the ability of the switchyard floor to handle abnormal electrical and thermal conditions becomes critical. Stones act as a buffer, absorbing and spreading out energy, and helping to isolate the faulted area. They also allow emergency personnel to access the area safely without being exposed to dangerous potential gradients. In emergencies where fire breaks out due to oil or arc faults, the non-flammable properties of stones help to prevent the spread of fire. In many documented cases, stones have played a role in preventing extensive damage by acting as a passive safety mechanism during fault events. In conclusion, the use of stones in switchyards is a result of engineering foresight and practical necessity. From ensuring electrical safety and mechanical stability to suppressing vegetation and enhancing fire resistance, stones fulfill multiple roles that are critical to the safe and efficient functioning of a substation. Unlike sand, which is unstable and can be easily displaced, or grass, which requires maintenance and poses safety hazards, stones provide a durable, low-maintenance, and highly effective solution. Their contribution to reducing step and touch potential, aiding in grounding, and preventing environmental interference makes them indispensable in high-voltage environments. As electrical demand continues to grow and substations evolve, the practice of using crushed stone in switchyards remains a standard of safety and operational excellence across the globe.